So what do other people around the league think of your team's draft? Well, if you're in the AFC North, we have it for you right here in our Draft Confidential, starting with the Cincinnati Bengals. Nolan, in recent years, it seemed like the trend had been to bash the Bengals draft until last year. They get A.J. Green, they get Andy Dalton, they kind of swindle the Raiders into taking Carson Palmer and getting picks for it. How did the league look at this year's draft, though? They had some solid picks. Kevin Zietler in the first round, I think, was a very solid pick, and so was Sean Prater for a cover two team in the fifth round. But uh, there were some big concerns expressed about Drake or Patrick, just known as character and durability. And then uh, you look at Mohamed Sanu and Marv Jones. Uh, some teams didn't view either player as a dynamic, explosive threat. Uh, you can easily cover both of them. And even George Aloka uh, was regarded as a misfit for the safety position. So there were some concerns, even though they did some good things at the top. It'll be tough for this draft class to live up to what last year's class did. The Cleveland Browns took Trent Richardson. I think that was a no-brainer, a can't-miss pick there. But then their next two, they took Brandon Whedon at 22 and then got Mitchell Schwartz. Do people around the league expect those guys to have impacts right away? Well, there were a lot of issues about the throwing arm of Brandon Whedon coming from his minor league baseball career. And the big question is, is he going to be able to stay healthy? But with a second first round pick, a luxury pick, teams felt like he could take a dart on a quarterback at that spot and felt like there was decent value with the pick. So I think, think we'll see how that one turns out. The big question with Schwartz is whether he's going to be strong enough to handle on the right side. He was a solid starter on the left side at Cal for four years. And uh, there were some teams that felt like he was too underpowered to really man that right side. And the Browns with that extra first round pick from the Julio Jones trade still paying off for them. The Pittsburgh Steelers, I think, widely praised by just kind of sitting still, waiting for guys to come to him. In this case, in the first round, David Castro slides down to him. But is that really the case? Did he definitely slide, or was he maybe just, you know, overrated by some people going in? A lot of evaluators uh, took a strong liking to him, myself included, but uh, you talk to teams around the league, he was sitting in the second round on a lot of boards, uh, and the true value was in the late first, early second, so it may appear like th they got a steal. I still think he'll be a very good pro, 10-year starter, maybe 12, 13 years, but uh, you know, on a lot of boards, he went right where he was supposed to. You know, we had a wide range. We heard at times that maybe he would be in the top 15 range, which we haven't seen for a guard in a while, or maybe Kevin Zeitler would actually go before him, so it's different opinions, certainly on David DeCastro. The Baltimore Ravens, seems like they always are giving credit, Ozzie Newsome and that crew, for being really good during the draft and you know being one of the best teams on the clock. How did evaluators around the league feel that Ozzie and the Ravens did this year? Well, with Terrell Suggs blowing out his uh, Achilles tendon, I think the Courtney Upshot pick is going to be uh, a blessing in disguise. He you know, really uh, helped the team out. He played that same position in Alabama's defense, and it should uh, really help him this season. Tommy Streeter, with you know, he's a player that had confidence issues, walking into a locker room with Ed Reed and uh, Ray Lewis, two Miami veterans, I think uh, that could really help them. You look at the second, third, and fourth round picks, Kletchia Asamali, uh, Bernard, Bernard Paris, and Gino Grykowski, and a lot of teams were confused at why they selected all three of them as early as they did. Yeah, Courtney Upshaw, good timing. I mean, right as you just draft him, it seems like somewhat of a luxury pick, and then all of a sudden it's a need pick because Terrell Suggs gets injured. That's a look at the AFC North and what people around the league thought of their draft. We have them for all 32 teams. You can check them out at our YouTube page, youtube.com slash profootballweekly.